Well, I always, um, I, I give this talk in a lot of high schools actually, like career talks. And um, I like to um, break it down into three things. You know, first is passion. Um, for something, for anything, there's got to be something, right? Or maybe some people feel that there's nothing, I'm not interested in anything. And, and I'm not sure that's so true. And I, I have a feeling that it's just because of outer influences that they think they don't like anything. It could be absolutely anything. It could be um, comics or cooking, you know, or... Uh, uh, pharmaceuticals, <laughs> photography, I don't know, it could be anything, but there's definitely um, something that, that you can ignite. So that's one, that's passion. Um, next is um, hard work, but I like to call it hard work. So um, no matter what you're faced with, whether it's your passion or not, I think you have to roll up your sleeves and get out there and do what's necessary. There's a quote, and I don't remember what it is so much. It said, like, do what's necessary first and the rest will follow, and your dreams will follow, something like that. So um, a lot of times, you know, you have this big dream, and then you forget about what you're doing now. So even if you're flipping burgers or clean, you're doing the laundry, you do it with your heart. You do it with reverence. You do, you do it just to do it because because that's what we do, you know. We're 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 um, um, deeds. Our deeds are so important, and we're going to be judged by our deeds, you know, at the end of it all. So hard work or hard work, and then the last is openness. And I like to use openness because we sometimes we expect so much, or we we have this set picture in mind of what. Um, should be or should not be, but there's so many wonderful surprises that, that arise at, at every moment that can open doors and different opportunities. Like for example, I mean, I have a thriving um, farm, farming food business right now, when all I wanted to do was have a backyard garden and to, to you know, put good salad on the table. You know, and if I had told myself, no, I mean, I can't do that. That's, that's that's something that I gotta leave up to the professional farmers to do, or or whatever. I would never have it anymore. So, or or it was, it was so easy. Like my fashion friends would be like, "Are you kidding? You're getting into food now? I mean, right?" So it's it's you can there's 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 a tendency to be very close also to to other opportunities and other sources of, of inspiration. So, did I go off tangent? Wow, that's so inspiring. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. No. Well, it, it's really, number one, you have to love what you're doing. Otherwise, you might as well do some other thing. If it's not something you like to do, you're not happy. You know, you shouldn't, you know, burden yourself sticking to that. And I'm, I'm, I'm one of those people who believe that everyone will find something that inspires them. Every day there's something that will inspire you. Um, for me, it's, you know, passion for football. You see that in our coach's uniform in the back, it says passion for football. That was, uh, Something I coined, you know, uh, and I told my my coaches, I want that in the back of your your uniform when you're coaching, so the kids will see it. And you know, it's it's uh, when you're inspired, passion will come. When you're inspired, you'll be happy. So I think um, it's just you know trying to find that 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 something that inspires you, whether you're, you know, you're watching TV, you see something you like, you want to see something that, yeah, I can do that, you know, that's something I want to try, you know. How would you know if you haven't tried it? You know, like, like they say in triathlon, you're a winner just by going, being in the starting line. You know, finishing is just secondary. It's attempting. We are defined by what we attempt. You know, it's something that's in triathlon, they say that you are defined by what you attempt.
You know, it's basically becoming an iron man, it's just second guy, but attempting to be one, that's the hard part. So, what can I advise? You know, it's, I tell my staff in the office, get out of your comfort zone, you know, try to think out of your zone, try something different, don't be afraid to create mistakes. You know, it's the only way you learn. Now, I'm trying to relate this to the academy. Last night, we had a, a game, our under-17 boys played a game against one of the, I think the best team in the under-17 in this league. They lost. And, you know, I told the boys, it's in defeat where you learn. You know, it's not in victory, you don't learn anything in victory, You're, you won. But in defeat, you analyze what did you do wrong. In the next game, you correct it, and you'll be winners. So I told him, heads up boys, you know, it's just, just a game. You have fun, that's the most important thing. I know you're down now, you lost. But you enjoy the game, right? This is the kind of games you want to play against the best team. You lost, but they're the best. Next time you play them and you get the second chance, don't worry. Now let's try to beat them. So, heads up. I mean, it's inspiring. That, that inspires me. I mean, giving talks like that to the boys, it's nice. Because I've been there, done that, you know, I've listened to countless coaches. It's the same, it's the same. Picking yourself up when you're down is the most important. 